Wine What Up is your boy E when I only boxing. Bringing that toe to toe value that's undisputed in this industry. So, the current undefeated lightweight WBC champion Devin the Dream Haney is taking on the former three division world champion Jorge Linares on May the 29th on the zone in Las Vegas, his home city. So, I wanted to talk about it in this video, so let's go get him. Devin Haney says that he will wear Linares down and completely dominate this fight. Okay, uh, I feel where you're coming from, you understand? Because let me tell you something, bro. If, if Jorge Linares and his people ain't got it on their mind to survive, bro, they ain't, they ain't deep trouble. You know, I really just feel like uh, Jorge Linares is in over his head this fight. I can kind of feel that like Devin Haney is going in there with it on his mind. And um, I ain't letting the cat out the bag or nothing. I think Linares got a feeling, too. That um, Haney is going to come in very strong And totally impose his will on him And if he ain't got his skates on You know, I think that Lenores is going to get caught with a shot That's going to um, put his lights out So anyway, man, Devin Haney is saying That he's putting his titles on the line for the first time Against uh, Against a multiple division world champion In Lenores And um, he, he has a lot of interesting quotes here So I wanted to um, highlight some of these things for you real quick so let's see what he's talking about. He said that it's been a great eight-week training camp. I started in Las Vegas, got some light sparring in, then traveled to the Bay Area. I spent three weeks training with Victor Conti and others at Snack. In the remaining weeks, I've been in Las Vegas getting great sparring work in with local pros that have been pushing me very hard. I'm ready. The world will see I'm the best fighter on the planet. I believe him, too. I kind of feel it, you know what I'm saying? I can feel it in the air. <laughs> Linares is a great fighter that has a lot left in the tank. He's held multiple world championships in three weight classes, and he's by far the biggest step up in my career. I give my dad, Bill Haney, who is my trainer, a lot, a lot of credit, and we know exactly what it takes to get this done on May 29th. My skills on another level, and I would make the necessary adjustments wear him down and completely dominate this fight. Devin continues. This is the biggest fight in my career, and the victory against Linares will gain me a lot of respect. Everyone knows that Linares is a dangerous fighter, and winning this fight gives more reasons for all of the writers, fans, and boxing insiders to campaign the undisputed showdown between me and undefeated champion Tiafima Lopez, or at the very least, a world title defense against Ryan Garcia. I'm putting pressure on him. That's what I'm talking about, Haney. Keep that pressure on him, you did. Apply pressure, especially against Ryan Garcia, because you know he a whole ho out here. He going to fold under pressure. You understand? Tiafima Lopez will be by far your biggest challenge in the division. And when that fight comes, if it ever comes, then may, may the best man win. I'm Ryan with Haney. You know what I'm saying? Got nothing but love and respect for Tiafima Lopez. But um, I think that uh, Devin Haney is definitely going to um, make a statement on the 29th. And I'm going to be tuned in. How y'all feel about that? You understand? And also, if Tiafima Lopez does um, manage to um, give Devin Haney the shot at Undisputed, then that will be the first time in boxing history that we'll have a franchise title Undisputed Showdown. How y'all feel about that? Let me know in the comment box below. It's your boy E when I only box and sign down to the next one. Holla at your boy 100. Whoop, out.